Awesome. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Show and Tell Show yet again, episode number 21. Can you guys believe we've done 21 episodes of this? Crazy. Um, crazy. <laughs> um, anyway, so welcome back. Last week, we were challenged by Penetanguishing Centennial Museum to bring our school stuff out. So since you challenged us, let's see what you have, Penetanguishing Centennial. All right, so what I have here is I have the first yearbook from the Penetanguishing Sec Secondary School in 1966. So a little bit of history of the schooling system in Penetanguishing. We had a high school, the first high school opened in 1938, and it was the Penetanguishing High School. And it burned down in 1955. And so from 1955 to 1966, they amalgamated, there was the Midland Penitentiary District High School. You might be familiar, <laughs> maybe you have some things in your archives about that. So it was two high schools in one building, but they didn't really mingle. They would be, one would be, you know, they'd be in the same building, but they were on different levels and different times. So I remember them saying, people from Penitentiary said that they would, they'd start different times at that high school than the Midland um, students. Oh. And um, so they were there waiting to get a new high school built, and it was built in uh, 1966, and it closed in 2016, and then once again amalgamated with the Midland Secondary School and became the Georgian Bay High School, and Georgian Bay District High School, I think it's called. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> so once it closed, we did um, get a lot of artifacts about the Penitent Machine Secondary uh, high school, um, secondary school, because we wanted to make sure that they were, they kept in the community, you know, they didn't sort of go off to, you know, the education department and be lost somewhere. And so we got the full um, high, uh, yearbooks and all kinds of different uh, memorabilia from the high school. And so this here is the first um, yearbook. It's interesting because in it, they don't have any photography. It was actually done by the English department and the art department and the commercial department. The commercial department <laughs> I bought a lot of these sponsorships and they actually drew all the pictures of everyone who, see, this is a graduating class. <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, they're amazing. They have incredible, um, art department even you know like some of their school like their team sports they actually drew them everywhere when they drew the uh the, the um what was it the teachers they were all cartoon characters so it was actually quite uh, amusing to look through this and see all of the art pieces that were in there by the second year they became a little bit more traditional they did have photographs but they didn't do individuals, they did them by classroom. And then so there you can see all the different classrooms. So this first one is quite the treasure because it is quite different than all the other ones that preceded it and it's the first, so that's our artifact. <laughs> wow, that's nice. really cool. Huh. Wow, what do we have, Genevieve? <clears throat> well, I was going to bring something very grave and edifying and improving, but in light of this new lockdown and the crummy weather, I thought I would bring something a little more light and fluffy. So um, <laughs> what I have are some photographs from the Central School. I guess it was originally called the West Ward School in Midland. And there it is right there. Oh, wow. It was at the corner of... 3rd Street, southwest corner of 3rd Street and Dominion Avenue in Midland, where the municipal building is. Oh. Um, so what I have here are two photographs from the senior 4th, 1924 class. Here are all the students. I think it might be a bit difficult to see, but here are the students with their teacher marked in red, Mr. Claire Follis. He was the principal and the teacher of the senior fourth. And so it's just a, a typical school class. Some of the kids are smiling or, you know, trying, the boys are trying to look a bit funny. But <laughs> there's another photo that I found in the collection that was donated, given to us by an entirely different donor. And this one, it's a little bit hard to see, 
but this one is much different. Someone looks like they've told a joke and all the kids are <laughs> oh, laughing, yeah. even the teacher. It is so amazing. And this <laughs> photograph, this was donated by a relative of Mr. Fallis. And what he's written on the back is uh, wonderful youth, all 52 of them. And I just thought uh -huh. that was such a wonderful uh -huh. sentiment. But I've also brought in a, from that same year, 1924, uh, the Central School's Chatterbox. It was a publication that was put together by the school's literary society. Uh, we only have two of them in the collection, both from 1924. So I don't know if it was something that they reg did regularly did or, or if it was a one-off. It was printed by the Midland Free Press and there are advertisements inside from a number of different build, uh, businesses in town. But what's really interesting is that you can see, I guess the, the relationship, the sort of gentle, uh, good-natured ribbing between the students and their teacher. Uh, he was the honorary president, Mr. Fallis was the honorary president of the, the literary society. And so you can see that by the comments that the kids make about him, uh, you know, in everyday activities, uh, the, the kind of rapport that, that they, their relationship, the good relationship that they had uh, with their teacher. And he sounds like a really uh, wonderful fella. I don't know how long he was in the area. We do have some dates. Um, I know uh, we've got some photographs of him from 1921 and then another from 1927. And uh, this uh, photograph is actually marked with his stamp. And it says that uh, at one point, he was living in Oshawa, so I know that he uh, is not buried in Midland, so at some point he left the area to probably teach or act as a principal at another larger school, which is unfortunate for the, the kids in Midland and uh, in Central School. But anyway, it was really nice to come across these things. Uh, yeah, so there. I love the haircut on some of the girls. Oh, they're little bobs. Yeah, some of them, it's funny because they get their hair cut. They get the bob, but they still have that sort of Hermione Granger fluffy hair. Yes. So they're not yeah, quite yeah. sleek the way a, a flapper would be. So. Yeah. Wow. Or, yeah. Me. or me for that matter. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> next week's challenge, next Wednesday is National Tea Day. Oh. oh. And I am sure, like, it, I, I don't know that there's a museum out there that doesn't have something <laughs> to do with tea in its collection. So I think we've probably, yeah, we can bring out some stellar pieces next week for National Tea Day. So that's the challenge, something tea related. Or you can just spill tea, which apparently okay. that's what the kids are all saying. <laughs> you know, oh. so... Yeah, you can you can either bring something tea related or a piece of gossip. What are the two? <laughs> oh, that kind oh, of tea. Oh, Ooh. they're calling us spill the tea now. Yeah, it's, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah spill Isn't the tea. You have some gossip. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, yeah. spill the tea. Hmm. Spill the tea. You need hmm. some teenagers in your life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not all it's cracked up to be. Some days. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're gloomy. Uh, God, I feel old. Anyway, uh, yeah. thanks for joining us again. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next Bye. week. Same time, same Bye. channel. Show and tell show.